name is Shafiq bin Ahmad and first of all I'm gonna do an introduction about IR 1.0 to the, and the impact to the education. Education 4.0 is the response to the needs of IR 4.0 where human and technology are aligned together to enable new possibilities. FIS explained that the new vision of learning promotes learner to learn not only skills and knowledge that are needed but also to identify the source to learn these skills and knowledge. Dunwell says that the advancement of technology keeps on transforming the teaching method and the setting of the learning process. Some of the changes in education include lecturer, post student grades and assignment online. Students use collaborative software or application to complete group tasks and students complete the assignment online. why we are using IR 4.0 in education. We are using IR 4.0 in education because e-learning tools creates a lot of opportunities. Learning will be individualized to students. The students can determine how they want to learn, more exposed to project-based learning, and the last one is more exposed to hand-on learning. Now I will pass my another member to describe more. My name is Mohammad Abu Shah Shaharia and I'm going to tell about the why we use IR in education. Substantial changes to science and technology curriculum has helped students to develop a capacity in the rapidly changing areas of genomics, AI, robotics and data sciences. Such IR4 STEM curriculum reconsiders the curriculum within the traditional primary sciences such as biology, physics and chemistry and place a higher premium for training for computer science subjects as a form of IR4 literacy. Hello everyone, my name is Fawzi Ali Vidhiramli and I will explain about how we apply IR4.0 in education. So, first of all, a quick revolution in innovation of IR 4.0 has led to another model of education for future. So, the impact of IR 4.0 in education can be seen in university, school, or learning in home. For example, it can be applied to e-learning. So, this is an example of e-learning that used by UMS students. So e-learning is the learning that can be take place anywhere and anytime. The student only need to access to educational curriculum through electronic technologies. Second, project-based learning. It is inquiry-based method of learning to solve the problem given as a project to student. It is a style of active learning. By this, we can practicing the organizational, collaborative, and management skill. Third, hands-on learning. It is involved of field experience such as internship and mentoring project. Fourth, data interpretation. We as students need to apply the theoretical knowledge to numbers based on logic and trends from given set of data. For example, SPSS and IR 4.0 in education. So the first one is new wave of global technology will change the production. Meaning to say that um, when every of the aspects of IR 4.0 has been implemented in education, so the new learners will be able to drive out uh, new uh, global systems that will change the world. The second is internalization in all business of aspects and industry. So meaning to say all companies will be standardized. So the business industry will be keep on going. The third one is leaders will be liberally, liberally educated. Meaning to say they will be educated in all ways and they will be able to help in all aspects of any companies or business when they read through or learn through education. And the last one is countries of citizens will be a part of the whole. Meaning to say is uh, 
when uh, IL 4.0 has been implemented through the education so the citizens will be able to think wise and they'll be able to think decisions that will change the world. So these are the impacts of IL 4.0 in education. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mama Shadal Mamun and in conclusion part what I would like to say Information management is the most challenging issues uh, faced by any organization in developing countries. The Ford Industrial Revolution IR 4.0 has changed the landscape of educational innovation. IR 4.0 is controlled by artificial intelligence and digital physical framework that makes human machine interface more universal. New technology transform our lives by inventing new undreamed of things and making them in by undreamed of ways. Thank you. Greetings to lecturers. Um, my name is Priya Shini and I am from Tourism Management HP08. So as per for this assignment, I will be doing the recommendation part. So. First recommendation is advancement among Malaysian colleges is a key aggressive factor of digital transformation in Industrial Revolution 4.0. Advanced education pioneers should abuse the poten potential open doors uh, carried by the Inter Industrial Revolution 4.0 with much obligation and astuteness by giving computerized administration to their foundations. And also, it is essential for Malaysian to give a code of ethics and responsible conduct control conduct to control organizations and people in the in their investigation of this fourth industrial revolution advances we have to save our center qualities moral standards and malaysian way of life as we grasp the fourth industrial revolution Revo, industrial revolution sorry and the last one would be new interdisciplinary programs need to be developed to cater to the future needs and as a first step, pilot programs can be developed to cater to a certain sector that would be most influenced by Industrial Revolution 4.0. For example, the manufacturing sector can be targeting to begin with. That's all from me and thank you.